football fan, but today Jaden Rashada is filing a lawsuit in suing Florida head coach Billy Napier and other boosters that allegedly promised him over $13 million of NIL money to go to the University of Florida. In the lawsuit, they state that Billy Napier promised him a million dollars to sign his letter of intent to go to the University of Florida and that they would be doing a wire transfer if he committed and signed that day. An agent was involved and told Jaden Rashada's son and that Billy Napier, and I'm quoting here, was good for it. Now, everybody knows what happened. Jaden Rashada didn't get that money. He wound up going to Arizona State last year. A lot of things fell through, and there's no telling what we're going to find out. But it does not stop the fact that Billy Napier, a sitting SEC head coach at a pretty prominent university, has been sued. Now, let me start off by saying all of this because I think it's very uh, important. All of these things that Jane Rashada issued or, or listed in this law th- lawsuit are alleged. Do I think a lot of it happened? Actually, yes, I do think a lot of it happened. But I also want Billy Napier to be able to defend himself, even though the that his school isn't even really helping him, and coming out with a statement today to the University of Florida and saying, hey, man, I'm paraphrasing, but hey, man, we weren't issued in the lawsuit. Ain't nobody say nothing about the University of Florida. That's on Billy. Billy going to have to do what Billy needs to do to get up out of this. We ain't getting tied up into this. Here's the truth. I, as I say all the time, quote, unquote, now this isn't a criminal case. I want to say innocent until proven guilty. Now, I have my opinion. I think they did it. But I, I want to see how Billy Napier and company defend themselves here. There are a lot of things that are ha- that have moving parts. And I think a lot of things people say, well, Billy, you know, it was fraud and all this kind of stuff. I don't necessarily disagree. But that's how business works sometimes, too. I'm not saying that Jaden Rashad is at fault here. But when you are playing with that much money, you better have all your I's dotted and T's crossed before you sign on a dotted line you might want to need to get some money before you actually do. Now, what I do think in all of this, now it's a big news today, what I ultimately do think comes of this is pretty simple. I think Billy Napier and company are going to settle. Regardless of what happened today or what's going to happen in the future, I do think that they settle. I don't know how much they're going to settle for. Maybe a million, two million dollars, who knows? But I do think that they settle. I think it's very unfortunate for Billy because I think Billy was told that from boosters that they would do something to get this kid here and they didn't do it. And I do think that that's unfortunate when you have a head coach who's saying, Hey man, they want to give you this money if you come here and they don't do it. I do think Billy was a little bit sleazy and telling the kid to sign and we'll give you a million dollars. And they never did. And the next day they sent him a termination letter. Now I've yet read all of that. I I really encourage you all to do it because I I'm not going to sit here and read it to you. You should know about the situation by now. Guys, it's been happening since December of 2022, and we're in May of 2024. You should be pretty well versed of what's going on here. But that's not a part of my Rafino's rants, and I'm going to put a different spin on this. And I can't believe that I'm the guy that comes out here and has to say this, but I'm going to be. You know, about six months ago, we came out here and said – that when Tennessee got into all of their legal battles with the, not even six months ago, maybe four months ago, when they got into their legal battle with the NCAA, I said, guys, this is going to come back and haunt college athletics. Don't go out there rooting for Tennessee because if you go out there rooting for Tennessee that they win this court case and that the NCAA is abolished, Who is going to be the person out there, even though the NCAA is horrible at their job? At least you have some form or government or body that has some rule of order on things that they could do. Now, the only thing that the NCAA did was that they opened a case against Jaden Rashada and the University of Florida, which I guess got thrown away because of the Tennessee stuff. And they did the same exact thing to Tennessee. And Tennessee said, Hey, you're just picking on us. No, they weren't. They were making sure that you didn't do things illegally, 
which technically you did. Boosters can't be on planes with recruits. That's not part of NIL. Now, should players be able to talk and go through their NIL compensation before they sign somewhere? Sure. But picking up a kid on a private plane and flying him halfway across, well, technically all the way across the United States doesn't necessarily sit right with me. Here is my biggest complaint. I think it. we let the lynch mob and the mob in general of the national media, fans in general, take us away from what the big picture is. You know what the big picture is? The NCAA should have probably been able to give and get an investigation underway from the University of Tennessee and the University of Florida about their handlings of NIL of two quarterbacks. They should. They should be able to investigate it because here's the truth that nobody wants to tell you. In every civilized civilization on the planet Earth, they succeed when law and order is there. I am not saying that we are right as a country. I'm not even talking about the police. But you have to have law and order. You have to have right and wrong. People can't go out there and cheat because these things type start to happen. In reference to the case, I think it's going to get settled. And I think it's the death knell for Billy Napier. Not only do I think it's the death knell for Billy Napier, I see a lot of people saying that they could fire him for cause. Well, technically, I don't know about all of that because there's another court case that says out that you might not be able to do that. Now, can they catch him in a fraud case? Maybe. If a school really wants to fire a guy with cause, I'm sure they can really find reason. It's not going to stop him from ultimately having to pay. Bottom line is this. I think it's unfortunate. It's not how every school deals in NIL. It's not how everything is intended or done in NIL. I think people have really good intentions, and sometimes those intentions don't come to pass. I will end in saying, though, like I started off, Billy needs his quote-unquote day in court to defend himself. But I will say something doesn't the, – the, the smell test doesn't pass with me on all of this. Now, the Rashada camp came out and said that they had audio. Now, if they come out with audio, I will walk back my statement, and I have no problem doing that. They said that they have audio recordings and reference to these type of dealings. Something still doesn't smell right. Because why were you taping people and still sign your letter of intent? So you had questions about them, which made you start recording them, but you signed anyway. It doesn't necessarily make sense. So you signed on the dotted line to go to school there, which probably should have been what you were ultimately doing anyway, making sure that you were going to a school that could develop you and get you to the next level. But there are some things that are behind the scenes that I know about Jaden Rashada, where he was going and hopping from school to school saying, hey, man, how much money are you going to give me? And when teams would say, hey, man, well, this is what we could do, but we're here to develop you that the kid would walk out. Like on a visit, the kid would walk out and say, well, this school's offering me more. See you later. In knowing that, something just doesn't smell right to me. And when that much money is involved, maybe you should have had all your I's dotted and T's crossed. What am I leading to? What if it... Stay with me. I do start asking the question, if you were recording all these people and still signed this letter of intent, number one, why did you sign it? Now, their defense is that Billy Napier was putting, or the agent that he has was putting pressure on him that if he didn't sign it, that they were going to walk away. Okay. Well, let him walk then. You're a good enough quarterback that you could have just waited. You could have waited until February to sign. 
I guarantee you there would have been somebody out there that would have signed you from a prestigious school. You know, it's interesting because we literally saw that happen just this past December when Julian Sane went to the transfer portal and went to Ohio State after Nick Saban retired. You know, this. I'm not saying this is what I am saying, but an old school attorney would tell you this smells like an old-fashioned shakedown. And I think something went happened behind the scenes where Florida didn't pay the kid because they found something out. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm being a conspiracy theorist. But I will tell you, if you are if you don't trust people enough and you don't trust people to where you're starting to record them, why sign on that dotted line? Because you went to other schools and said, oh, you ain't offering me shit? Peace. I'm out. This school sucks anyway. Now, we know that that was happening. Very interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with Jaden Rashada. Uh, Doug says he sounds like a diva. I'm not... I am not saying that he is a diva. But there are a lot of things that are out there on the kid. Cortland said violating his right to a speedy trial. What do you mean? Uh, the message is that Florida lie about money to trick the kid to sign. Maybe it's true. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. That's very true and could have happened. Very, very true and could have happened. Um, it also, But here's my thing. The kid has parents. The kid has an agent. Let, let, let me, let me, let me, let me, let, let's go here. Jane Rashada, you mean to tell me that Jane Rashada has an agent and has parents that were involved in this process? Why would you, why wouldn't you wait to sign until you got wired the money any damn way? If that's their promise. Oh, well, they're going to move on from me. Let them move on. That part right there to me doesn't, doesn't pass the smell test. In the lawsuit, Cortland, to your point, in the lawsuit, Jane Rashada does not say that Billy Napier tells him that. He says that the agent tells him, hey, man, if you don't sign with Florida, they're going to move on from you. Now, if that's the case, where does that million dollars come into play? Because what it sounds like is the kid might have been told by his agent that Florida offered him a million dollars to sign today, and then all of a sudden Florida says, hey, man, listen, if you ain't going to sign, you ain't going to sign. I, I, it sounds like a whole bunch of mess. What it sounds like to me is the agent was trying to make some quick cash and – he was having conversations with Billy Napier, and maybe the agent was the one that recorded him. I don't know. But agents are sleazy as shit. Trust me. Dude, When since I've been doing this since 2017, I've had like 12 agents read out, reach out to me. All them some bitches is sleazy. All of them are sleazy. <laughs> 